Hello and welcome back to another exciting video on plants. Today we're talking about echinacea or coneflower. I don't know about you, I like coneflower for a variety of reasons. One of them is uh, it's idiot proof to pretty much grow. The secondary reason is bees love them. They're drought tolerant, they're a hardy plant. Let's get on with our plant talk today. Echinaceas or coneflower is originally from North America. There are, sorry I'm looking at my phone with notes here. Um, they are the genius Echinacea, and there's 10 species commonly called coneflower. They are drought tolerant, as I mentioned before. They're perennial, they can grow up about, about four feet. Uh, with, I guess a little love, tender care, they may get a little higher, and there are varieties which grow lower. They're part of the sunflower family. I didn't know any of this. And if you don't believe me, I suggest you go Google it yourself and I'll leave links below whereas you can go find some of uh, the resources that I found where I took notes and uh, yeah, go, go, go do your own homework. So, but if you're lazy and just want to listen to me ramble, here we are. Uh, there are, they're part of the sunflower family among others such as yellow, yellow camille, ca chamomile, chamomile, I can't speak, chamomile, corn marigold and crown daisies. Who knew? I didn't know. So if you didn't know, well, there you go. Now you know. Uh, there are ten species, as I mentioned before. There's the narrow leaf coneflower, Topokia purple coneflower, smooth corn coneflower, smooth, which is also called smooth purple cone coneflower, yellow cone coneflower, um, the, 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 the eastern purple coneflower, uh, sag saguin 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 purple coneflower, narrow leaf coneflower, way leaf, wavy leaf coneflower, and Tennessee corn coneflower. I have no idea which one this is. I just think it's really cool and it grows in my yard abundantly. Uh, I have also turned around and uh, planted many of uh, seeds. I've harvested seeds from it uh, for the last couple of years now since I've been gardening and I've usually grown uh, a couple of them uh, and then planted them out throughout the garden. So, uh, they're fairly easy to propagate and like I said before they're very hardy. I live in growing zone 7A uh, Long Island, New York and some years we get mild winters, some years we're buried in snow. This, uh, You might think that uh, if there's two, three feet of snow all your plants are gone and dead and the next thing you know in uh, May, June you see this guy popping up out of the ground and by July blooming. So uh, you can actually deadhead them back uh, which I actually have done elsewhere in the garden today um, and when you deadhead them back they may reflush for you in the fall and like I said they'll la they should last you until about uh, the first frost. Uh, let's see growing zones three to nine so as I said I'm in 7a and these guys are growing happily here. I have a couple also varieties I have a white one which I started growing this year I believe last year I believe it's called oh yes uh, grew from seed marry me echinacea and that one is doing well. It's small, but it's growing well. Then there's, um, oh, what's the other one? Crimson Red or Crimson Flower. I don't have anything to show for nap because I deadheaded the ones I had. Then I have another one that's very bushy. So that one is pretty neat. I don't know the name of that one off the top of my head. If you can't see, um, there are, bees do love them. Um, this one's probably crawling with bees and I know I've had a couple of buzz by my head as I'm filming this. The name is from the Greek word echinos, echinos, which means sea urchin. I wonder why they call it a sea urchin. The coneflower name comes from the cone at the center of the flower. The, you could see it some of these, it's more coney than others. It's the cone. It comes in various colors, green, orange, uh, pink, purple, red, white, and yellow. Echinacea agusrulslulalivia, I can't pronounce that, I'm just going to put the name right here, uh, was used mainly, uh, was used by Native Americans as a medicine, folk medicine, so I don't know, I, 
I've heard stories, and I don't know the full context or uh, the whole thing of it, but apparently you can use echinacea for things like teas, herbal medicine, uh, folk medicine. Again, I don't know the full details. If you know any information about echinaceas and the way it could be used, um, other than looking like a pretty flower and making bees happy, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear it, and maybe hopefully anybody else who watches this would love to hear it. Uh, maybe in the future, well, I know in the future I will do an update video, we'll call it, I don't know, Echinacea updated. Quiet down, doing a video. <laughs> so, and where I'll uh, probably fill in, I'll do the same thing again, we'll talk about the plant and I'll fill in a lot more information. That's really about all I have for now, it's a short video today. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. I do post up pictures of echinaceas and roses and all the other plants in my garden on a fairly regular basis, almost daily actually. And uh, let's see what else. I have a website, growingagreenfinger.com. If you haven't visited there, please do visit. Uh, you'll find all sorts of information about the garden, my first book, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's see what else. Oh, from now until the end of the year, the videos may seem a bit irregular. I would always try to post uh, weekly. But uh, due to life and other nonsense going on and the way the moon turns and the planet, no, it's just, it's, <laughs> there's things going on in my life right now. Um, and uh, so the videos may be a tad more irregular. Uh, I have not gone anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I will keep producing videos probably up until November maybe-ish. And then we might get a bit more sporadic and then Hopefully by January, February, we're rocking and rolling again with a whole new series. So uh, again, keep watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you know somebody who might enjoy these videos, please click, uh, tell them, and then click the uh, like and bell icon below. And I think that's about it for today. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.